Mr. Tukey comes in with an interesting question about 4K gaming and motherboards. He does. He is building a PC for 4K60 for AAA games at Ultra. So if you want to play Ultra, listen up. He's planning on getting the 5900X, uh, but can't decide which motherboard. And he wants to know if the ASUS B550F is enough or if he should go the ASUS X570E and he isn't going to overclock. That is a great question. Now, Mr. Tukey did not mention video cards. Well, I hope that you're either buying a RTX 3080 Ti when they come out in February or an RX 6800 XT, or maybe even a 6900 XT for the 16 gigs of VRAM. Sure. And he's not planning on using an RTX 3080 because I think the 10 gigs of VRAM at 4K won't last five hot minutes. Putting that issue aside, assuming he's got his graphics card situation sorted, first of all, two thumbs up. Ryzen 9 5900X, great choice, super fast, great uh, number of cores should last him for many years. He can, he'll be able to play any game for the next few years without a care in the world. Great choice. More motherboard is nice. However, there's nothing wrong with a B550-F. In fact, I went ahead and pulled it up right here. Now the Dash F is actually a reduced feature uh, set of the Dash E version, but it really has everything that you need. It's got really good power delivery. It's got multiple M.2 slots. It's got plenty of expansion slots. It has a very nice uh, IO shield with multiple type uh, uh, USB type three ports, USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, both Type A and Type C, if I can say that correctly, and so on and so forth. Now, if you want to spend more money, you certainly can. Now, he mentioned the X570-E board. Correct. Well, you can get a B550-E board, and it's $270, which is about $80 more expensive. It does have some extra features. It does have the second... PCI Express slot is IO shielded and it's more meant for SLI setups, but SLI doesn't exist anymore. Crossfire is a joke. I mean, you could do it, it works, but it's got the, it's got the, it's got the shielding on the second slot. The features on the eboards are, they're nice, but they sort of cover the surround. If you're not overclocking and you're not doing anything overly fancy, I think it's kind of a waste of money. I don't have it here to show you at the moment because it's actually upstairs. We bought the Asus ROG Strix B550-F board. We, we are going to use the B550-F board. I did not buy the E board because for our uses, I think it's overkill. I would say that if he plans to do an RTX 3090, or a 6900 XT for $1,000. Then go. Get the eboard because you're the kind of person who wants it. You're, if you're going that high. The B550E, not the X570. You don't need the X570. You can, but I would get a B550-E if you're going thousand plus dollar video card or the B550-F. I'm, I'm putting components with parts that I think the kind of user who buys them goes with. I'm sure many people are going to comment on this and say, well, what difference does it make? That has absolutely no, they're the same performance. Not everything is about performance. It's about quality of PC experience. It is. And the kind of person who buys the very best graphics card that exists isn't the kind of person who should be buying mid-level motherboards. Correct. If you're spending buku bucks up here, make all of your system premium. That's kind of like saying, I'm gonna buy the brand new Corvette, $85,000, 500 horsepower engine, mid-engine supercar. Hey, Walmart, what's the cheapest tires you got for this thing? Huh? No, no, you go buy the, the P-rated, uh, uh, my brain just, my, I the can't. The good tires. The good tires. You go buy Michelin's or Goodyear's or 
Uh, Pirelli's. Pirelli's. Thank you. Thank you. The Pirelli's. You go by the Pirelli's and you don't fuss that the tires are 250 bucks a piece because $1,000 for tires is what you bought when you bought a Corvette. You just, every time you change the tires on that, it's a thousand bucks. That, that You should have known that when you bought a Corvette. If you're buying thousand dollar video cards, you should know you're buying a very expensive computer. That's just, that's the deal you made. Enjoy.